Welcome back to Whip Salon. We are at the Bluffton location and we have had really a fun show. Erin and I have been just enjoying ourselves all morning, all day. And, and a bit of pampering. And a bit, oh God, yeah, a lot of pampering. That's been wonderful. <laughs> nice. As promised, we're gonna chat with Leah, who is here with Whip Salon Master Stylist. You've been doing hair for 16 years. And then some. <laughs> and then some. I love it. I'm going to brag on you all for just a minute, and then we're going to get into some really fun summer hair care tips because we have questions. We do. But whip salon, this, this location has only been open since August, not even a year for Whip Salon in Bluffton, and already got voted the one best of the of best Bluffton. salons in Bluffton, mm -hmm. top three. That is outstanding. That yeah. speaks to y'all and what you're doing. And Very much so. Of, you know, the stylists. Yeah. Well, you said there's a huge need for great stylists in Bluffton, and that's why this is working. So tell us a little bit about, you know, just your, all your, we need all of your knowledge. Download us with some summer tips, if you will. Okay. Um, my biggest tip that I have is when we are swimming in the pool or going to the beach, we think of our dry hair as a dry sponge. So if we can get some water on it, tap water or fresh water before we dive into the chlorine pool water or get on the beach, that will help protect it. And we can also spray some products in um, like this all-in-one treatment. It's a multi-purpose uh, moisturizing treatment. And, or if you have long hair, you can put some cream in and braid it in and that helps pre to prevent the chlorine from sucking it in or the salt water. And then when you get home, just rinse it out and you have some nice smooth hair that is tangle free. How did we not know about this, Erin? I'm not sure. I it think makes... I was a perfect candidate for it. <laughs> Me too. This makes so much sense because your hair is going to absorb the most of whatever it's what, when it's dry, whatever's happening first. Exactly. So if you That's jump in, say, yes. into the pool with dry hair, all that chlorine is going to get sucked exactly. up. Suck it so up. you just get it wet, put a little product in, and you're good. Never thought about it, but it's so intuitive when you really think about it. It also helps with the color treated, you know, to prevent that from fading because Say someone has like bright red hair and they, they want to keep their locks looking good. Yes. They jump in the chlorine, that's gonna like de definitely hurt it. Like so strip the color strip out? Strip the color a bit, yes. Mm -hmm. So you'll want to get that tap water in first, even put some a little bit of spray and leave-in conditioner, that's great for it too. And yeah. you should be good to go. And that heat from the sun can sort of activate that conditioner. <laughs> Can't so. hurt, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right, yes. I'm glad you talked about color though too, because mm -hmm. you all have a product here that is specifically going to help with sun protection that I have never heard of before. Didn't know it existed. There's SPF in that it. That is built in the color line, yes. So along you, with some very good keratin oil and argon oil. Yes, that's been so wonderful. We just discovered this new line and we've been so happy with it, especially that, living in the South with the sun being so intense as it is. That's a so, game changer, being mm -hmm. able to have SPF in your hair color. Yes. That's amazing. So you all are using that line. You all, you all are, you know, have a high level of a threshold that you want to maintain of your of service, but also the products. And I think that really makes a difference when you're thinking about where to go, and you know, not just who you're going to see, but what they're going to put in your hair, what kind of tips they're able to provide. Sets us up for success because we do live in a coastal area, and a lot of us are outdoors on boats and on the beach and in the pools. So yes. it's really helpful. Definitely. And you can wear a hat too. And don't forget, you can also spray sunscreen on your scalp. That's always a good trick because it is definitely going to get there. The sun's going to reach that scalp. And I mean, yeah, hats always are a good thing too. Keep I have stylish. no more excuses to complain <laughs> about my, my dry summer exactly. hair. <laughs> well, whatever you're doing is working for you, clearly. <laughs> well, yes, and it's it been such a treat to you know get styled by you all today and just be here in this setting. Congratulations on the success of the salon. Um, for folks who want to come in and just learn a little bit more, book an appointment, what's the best way to do that? Um, they can call or they can go online and book. Both are, work really great. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
it's one. very easy to get an appointment. So you can make a spawn for summer too. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so much for having us. It's been such of a treat course. filming Thanks here today. Thanks a lot for coming out. Oh, Glad to help you with some summer tips. Yes. Hair. Thank Keep you. our locks looking good. I learned a lot today. <laughs> I hope you all did too. We'll see you next time on Carolina Women.